Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this next act? Woo-hoo! So he mentioned uh, he had some awkward dating stories. Let's see if uh, he's going to share them with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andrew Vannon. Hey! Hi, yes, folks. How you all doing? Yeah, good. Good stuff. Uh, there's a female uh, song artist that likes to perform songs live on stage, but while uh, singing uh, songs live on stage, she likes to have a wee smoke of marijuana. What's her name? Marijuana Grande. <laughs> now there's a guy who uh, rolls up joints live on stage whilst he's singing songs. And he does the rolling absolutely perfectly. He makes me look like as if I roll like shite. What is his name? James Blunt. <laughs> now, I had a recent trip to Edinburgh, not Edinburgh, but uh, Manchester. Right, this, you know, Manchester has the Arndale Shopping Centre. But this lady came running towards me. I was like, what a shit, what the fuck? But anyway, uh, she ran up to me. And she was from Answers. She says, Are you good in bed? I say to her, answer this question uh, quite tightly. I, I says to her, uh, After I take my lithium and my quotidian at night, I could be asleep for 12 hours, 13 hours, and when nobody bothers me to wake up in the morning, I could be asleep for 16 hours. So I am extremely good in bed. And her, her face reeked of horror and disgust. Well, I had to answer the question, didn't I? <laughs> now, I was on a date recently, and the lady says, talk dirty to me. I'm a cleaner. <laughs> anyway, so I said, right, talking dirty, right, okay. Uh, the toilet uh, in the back of that megabus is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Uh, they didn't clean the hotel room. I was dust on top of all the kind of fixtures, and they didn't have the carpet right. And also in that student residence, the naughty little students had left a uh, greasy uh, cooking utensil all over the worktop, and the kitchen area just can't smell of grease and vomit. She kind of disappeared. <laughs> oh well, I just have to wank myself off tonight in. Now, another day it happened, and the lassie was wanting some pillow talk. <laughs> oh, I love that about a bit of pillow talk. So I was talking to her about the differences between uh, flopped uh, pillows and memory foam mattress pillows, <laughs> and what the difference between talk ratings are. She fucked off. <laughs> Oh well, I just have to sit on my hand tonight and pretend that someone else is chugging me off. <laughs> now, anybody had this malady happen to you where uh, you are just about to leave the house and this Amazon guy goes, could you look after this for your neighbour? Well, it happened to me this day, so uh, before I could even say yeah or nay, he whammed the, the box into my hand that hard, I actually made the product inside drop to the floor. So I closed the door, and the thing was sitting on the floor. He had ordered a, a, a seven-inch silver dildo. And just out of morbid curiosity, I went back into the kitchen, put four triple A's in, zzzz, and I put it on the table, and the dildo raced along a six-foot table in five seconds. So that's 1.2 foot a second, which is quite fast. But to be perfectly honest, it's not the fastest because he's dildos you get at Ann Summers that uh, look like microphones, they can go along the table of six foot in three seconds. Uh, she had ordered another dildo two weeks after, so she burnt out one dildo in two weeks. <laughs> How the fuck that can be possible, I don't know. <laughs> Could I ask you what a border collie is, apart from a dog breed? It's a poor little doggy who has a borderline personality disorder. <laughs> now, I want to talk about, like, comic book fans, you know, comic book geeks, you know, like, hardcore comic book fans. And in the media industry, they get known as dweeps. Nobody likes comic book fans. They don't get the pussy or anything like that. I can tell you 
That is a dated, shitty stereotype. And I, I was on a date, and it was uh, one of these uh, adult friend finder dates, so, uh, you know, took this bad for and she, uh, she liked comic books, uh, including Captain America's uh, nice t- bubble butt ass. Uh, but I, I, I moved the topic on to Deadpool, you know, because she had a nice Deadpool sh- uh, shirt on. And then uh, she was talking about that, and then I said, I've got a Deadpool suit. She was like, no way. So I showed her a picture of me in the Deadpool suit. So she said, come from your bit to Glasgow, Glasgow to Edinburgh in the Deadpool suit, and we'll have some fun times. <laughs> so I travelled in public transport all the way up to Edinburgh, and she met me coming off the bus, and she took me to her friend's residence. It was a, uh, let's say, a... Uh, Conveniently left it empty for us, and I'll show you what I look like. Very good times were had. <laughs> very, very interesting and enjoyable sex with that. And then on round two, she wanted the dead to sit on her. And the sight of dead to with a nice sweet pair of tits, put it that way, you'd have to be daft not to get hard for that. So two rounds of fucking awesome sex, and then a nice sweet casual walk up to uh, Edinburgh bus station so she could get the X54 and me a 900. So yeah. Uh, I'm just shooting the other thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, see, but uh, seeing the. Uh, <laughs> right. Do you prefer it to be up or down? <laughs> right. So, uh, on Facebook, I, I used to have 297 friends. Right? And one, you know, on my Xbox Live, I only had one. And people ask me, why do you only have one friend on. Uh, Xbox Live got 297 on Facebook. Easier answer. Wanker control. It keeps the wankers at bay. And to be honest, it kind of sounds as if I'm a little bitter. But to be honest, when I was writing that material, I was actually coming down from Oban on a uh, City Link 914. The aircon was blasting something fierce. So uh, I was writing material in the back seat. So uh, a City Link coach of hard nipples. And I recommend you all to give it a shot. Great right, comedy material with hard nipples in the back end is City Link. That's your homework, guys. And also, just as a wee uh, to, to go away from folks, uh, I want to uh, sing a song about farting. Are you ready for it? And it's a, a set to tune of uh, Frozen. <laughs> I let him go, I let him go, I didn't fall through but it got close. I let him go, I let him go, and made my sheets ruffle. <laughs> I don't care what you have to say about that part, it felt rather satisfying and it made my sheets ruffle. <laughs> so I'm just checking the time before I heat, just in case I'm okay or whatever. <laughs> well, a minute left. <laughs> Alright, well, in that case, I'm going to uh, skedaddle and take more normal people drugs, but then again, <laughs> normal people drugs don't work for me. Right, so enjoy your, your uh, day and remember, do your homework. <laughs> oh, I'm just checking you can see through that one. Andrew Deadpool Vannon there. <laughs>